Hi there, thank you so much for joining me today. It's Halloween, I'm wearing an orange shirt. I don't think I've ever worn orange in a video before, so this is pretty exciting. And what's even more exciting is today is the finale for the Graveyard Project Pan. It's a collaboration created by Emily. She brought a bunch of people together and we all chose five to 10 products that were either collecting cobwebs or needed resurrected. We did an update every two months with the last day being today, Halloween. I'm sad to see this project come to an end, but I had a lot of fun and I'm really excited to see everybody else's finales. So in the description box, I will have a link to the playlist with all of our updates in one playlist that Emily made for us. And I will also have everyone's names and either their Instagram handle or their YouTube channel linked as well, because some people are doing it on Instagram instead of in a YouTube video. I have five products to share, so this video is going to be a little bit shorter than normal. The first product I have to talk about is an eyebrow pomade from Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade Taupe. This is not finished, but I was able to revive it by mixing it together, hitting pan on it again, and hitting side pan. So I've made quite a lot of progress. In the past two months, I used up 0.18 grams, and over the course of the project, I was able to use up 0.74 grams, and because there are advertised four grams in the product. I've used up roughly one-fifth of the product. That makes sense. These take forever to use up. I'm just really glad I got back into the routine of using it. I was using a lot of eyebrow pencils and gels for a while and I kind of forgot about this, but it's a great product. I'm wearing it in my brows today and once I get back into the swing of using it regularly, I use it every day and I think it's a great product, so I'm glad I brought it out. It's still in perfectly conditioned. After mixing it together, it went right back to the same consistency that it was when I first bought it, so I'm glad to have it back and actually revived and resurrected in my collection, and I will enjoy it just as much as I did while I was using it during the project. Next product is the RCMA Original No Color Powder. And I did not finish this. I didn't really think that I would be able to because I wasn't able to bring it with me on my travels and I did travel for the majority of the past two months that I had this project. So I didn't get to use it every single day like I was before. If you can see, I made a huge amount of progress uh, in my last update because I was using it every day, but because I was traveling for five out of the eight or nine weeks between these two updates, I wasn't able to bring this with me because I was really short on space, and so I brought a pressed powder instead so I couldn't use this. Even so, I feel like I made a lot of really good progress. It is something that I still use every day to set my under eyes and set my face. If you have oily skin, I don't recommend this. I don't think it does literally anything for oil control. It is very lightweight. If you use a very small amount, it does look really natural. It doesn't look like you have a ton of powder on your face. So I think this is better for people with more um, normal or even slightly drier skin. I definitely can see myself having this done by the end of the year as long as I continue to use it every day. I think it's alright. I don't think I would buy it again, um, but it is really enjoyable to use when I have it, and I am very confident that I can have it done by the end of the year, so you'll probably see this in my end of the year makeup empties for 2019. The e.l.f. Beauty Shield SPF 50 Skin Shielding Moisturizer in Universal Tint. I didn't even make enough progress to make a new line. I might have grabbed for it a handful of times. I only used 0.24 grams worth of product when last time I had used up 10.66 grams. Over the course of the project, I've used up 16.38 grams, which is good. Even though I haven't been using this SPF product in particular, I have been using SPF. I just, I recently bought one from Crave Beauty. I bought, I think, another one before that. So I'm working on just trying out a bunch of different SPF products. This one can make me slightly greasy. So it is something that I'll probably use more in the winter months whenever my skin is drier. So I'll probably get a ton of use out of this in the really cold, dry months, usually like January to March. Um, for now, I'm going to put it aside and probably play with some other SPF products that I'm working on. I am still trying definitely to wear SPF every single day. Um, I just don't know if this is the perfect one to use during this time of the year. Next one is uh, one that I talked about in a recent video where I talked about products I'd hit pan on. This one had an air bubble in it, and I hit the air bubble with my brush and it collapsed in on itself, and then I repressed it but something in the formula, I'm not really sure, but I don't really think this represses very well. I'm gonna try to repress it again, and if it doesn't work, I'll just mush it up and put it in a container and use it as a loose bronzer just to use it up because this is an expensive bronzer. I do want to finish it one way or the other. I didn't take this traveling with me because the packaging was too big and I just never really bothered to repress it because I was working on another bronzer from Too Faced. That one is a little bit darker than this one and that was helping me match my face to the tan that I got on my arms. So this was kind of out of the rotation for a little bit, 
just because it wasn't the exact right color for me and also because I just didn't ever bother to repress it. I will at some point. So in the past two months I have used up 0.52 grams. Over the course of the project I was able to use up 7.8 grams which isn't too bad considering the total amount in here is 25 grams. So 7 out of 25 grams isn't that bad. Part of me naively thought this would be done by the end of the year. I just don't see that happening anymore. Oh well. <laughs> and last one is a lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury in the shade Pillow Talk. I didn't want to try to use it up. I wasn't trying to just use it every day so that I could finish it because it's an expensive lipstick. I like the color. I'm wearing it today and it's just not something that I'm in a rush to use up. I just wanted to reach for it more and get more use out of it. I'm terrified of these Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks expiring before I get to use them all the way. So I'm just trying to keep them like in rotation at all times. I've made steady progress, pretty much the same amount of progress that I've made in the past updates. So it is something that I'm reaching for regularly, but I'm not overusing. Beautiful color, beautiful formula. I love this and the other two Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks that I have in my collection. I reach for them all regularly. They're all different lighter nude colors. They just all have different undertones. So depending on what undertone I want, I reach for the one that would match that. I'm glad this isn't finished. I wasn't in a rush to finish it. I just wanted to reach for it more and make good progress and I really think I did that. So I would definitely consider this product a success in this project pan. Those were all the products I had to talk about. Smaller project pan, I only used five products. It was technically a rolling project pan, so you could roll new things in as you finish stuff up, but I didn't finish anything. Because we were only doing updates every two months, I did specifically choose products that take a little bit longer to show progress. They just take longer to go through. And that better motivated me to reach for them more so that I could have updates with actual progress to show you with the amount of traveling that I did over the past two months and with the broken product, the broken bronzer, I might not have made as much progress as I thought I would, but I do still consider this project a success. I had a lot of fun doing it and I just really liked getting an opportunity to work with so many other YouTubers that I love. I will have everyone linked in the description box below if you want more Project Pan updates. I definitely recommend checking them out. After one, I'm very excited to see their progress and their finales. In the meantime, that's everything I have. Thank you so much for joining me and and I hope you have a wonderful Halloween. Bye guys.